Hello everyone, so many of you started wondering like uh, how in particular uh, am I achieving this uh, cool retro look of the programming videos I'm making. So um, when I do all of this uh, command line um, sort of a navigation and then just uh, opening the text editor and just uh, okay this is the wrong file so you know, it's like this obviously and then just navigating through the file and meanwhile like yeah I can write some code I can do something but you see like my reflection is right over in here so this is my head maybe it's not seen that nicely so here is code monkey king yeah so uh yeah this is the mouse I never show the mouse <laughs> but he's available here and like for real many people are thinking like uh what's wrong with your screen it's so old maybe you should buy a new monitor <laughs> others do realize that this might not be for real because yeah uh, obviously if i was shooting this with a real camera uh let's say having my smartphone here so the smartphone should be placed somewhere i don't know like right up front like right in front of the screen so it sort of shoots the uh, whatever is happening on the screen so the picture the reflection if this was uh, if this uh, uh, would have been a real reflection it should look like this uh, like I'm like a terminator right so yeah you guys have been wondering a lot like uh, how in particular this can be done so in this video I will show you how do I achieve this of a look so without further ado let's actually break down the entire process so I kick start with just uh, record my desktop uh, application which is now recording this particular video and then uh, once I've downloaded from internet this magnificent picture of VT100 uh, terminal then what I did here uh, was I cut away the central part so that whatever goes on the screen is just literally the transparent um, blank transparent transparent space and eventually I have this sort of a thing uh, terminal so this is just the bad terminal and it's like uh, I've added some screen curvature because the terminal emulator that I'm using I will now demonstrate how the works in particular it actually indeed um, uh, has like this curvature which mimics uh, sort of a real CRT screen so um, now if I just open the terminal so now it's uh, it's like it's a little bit transparent but it's not so by default and oh my god i just messed up with that. <laughs> uh the particular place where <laughs> space where where it has been placed is very <laughs> oh man it should be very precise i, I spent hours to <laughs> to make it exactly the place but yeah doesn't matter really uh yeah it's probably to show this from scratch so if uh, i just go for some default profiles here so default ember so by default this is not transparent you see just uh, overlaps and everything that pays it is 100s here so if you go to so this is the cool retro term uh the application called cool retro term absolutely amazing piece of software so within the settings uh you can have this opacity and you can yeah make it absolutely opaque or well, I use like somewhere around 80% of opacity. Then, well, this uh, opacity helps. So you see like, uh, here is the border. So essentially the curvature of the screen goes like this. You see, like, here is the curvature of the screen. So if I just, uh, so uh, the way how I did this picture, so I just carefully uh, overlap one uh, picture onto another so that eventually it just goes exactly like this. Uh, the first, attempts that I was doing so I was just having these uh, opacity set to 100 and then I was using the editor uh, the video editor to put my transparent uh, sort of transparent uh, webcam view on top of this terminal but this was taking like too long so I'll start looking for a bit faster way so that I don't need to do a lot of uh, video processing further on and the solution came up as <laughs> simple as hell. So here is my custom Python script to uh, display the web camera. So I once even made a video tutorial on it. So this is just the OpenCV 
wrapper to uh, create a webcam review. So I just opened the window with this big size, 850 by 640, but the actual resolution is 320 by 240. The reason for this resolution, the reason behind like, this low resolution, first, if I do like a bigger resolution, it would just start lagging. So I say like, ah, uh, like uh, it's not, it's just 320 by 240, so really low resolution. So the actual size of it, so, so to make it a bit of like, something real it should be like this and again uh, what you currently see in my videos is not the very first ever iteration so the very first let me just make it always on top so the very first iterations uh, were like this so for instance like I've been doing this tutorials on how to make your own text editor so as you can see here initially I wasn't really using neither cool retro term nor uh, this uh, mimic of uh, sort of reflection on the screen. So I was just, uh, I just copied this part of the VT100 and minimized it and just put it here. And then uh, I was doing like, so I had exactly the same mask, like like this one. But uh, apart from this mask, okay, what's going wrong here? Yeah, so apart from this mask, so this big screen was here and here was a little screen. So it wasn't this particular uh, image that was a different one. I was just putting the uh, web camera view here and I was opening just the default terminal right over in here and I was recording the video then I just uh, did put these uh, in the video edit I was putting this mask on top of uh, this image and uh, got things done that way but the problem here is like uh, text doesn't start from the very uh, from the very top and doesn't end at the very bottom and it's not curved uh, so no screen curvature here it's flat and it's really seen that it's just a mask being like over overlaid on top of the uh, actual uh, terminal uh, emulator image. It wasn't really, uh, it didn't really feel realistic, although it's cool, but not really that realistic. And also, well, obviously when you see like uh, VT100 with, with this <laughs> tally on the right, you know for sure that it's not for real because the original <laughs> VT100 obviously didn't have that. So the further, um, evolution uh, so I just started uh, making these um, videos at so first uh, I didn't really um, I didn't really use the reflection so first I just used Google red return and it looked uh, amazing yeah but then I thought that you know like you see this crap on the background so like if you want to make a cool look you need to clean that up or potentially put the uh, chroma key uh, in behind from you and I have a chroma key, I just like, yeah, I gifted this to a friend, so I probably no longer have it, but yeah, that's too complicated. So the lighting is, uh, in most cases, just awful. Now it's uh, daytime, so at least like the wind, light from the window comes to my face and at least something, but when it's like uh, evening, uh, I have a light over there and my face is just black and like everything else. The lighting is just horrible. But when I do mimic the reflection, all this doesn't, doesn't matter really because like, that's just uh, a reflection. <laughs> so what do you want from reflection? Reflection is not a, a scripted or <laughs> staged or planned uh, sort of a video <laughs> production part. So it just uh, it's just a reflection, just randomly captured on camera. It shouldn't be like it didn't. It wasn't meant. It so sort of wasn't meant to be seen, but it just like, eventually happened. So that's that's the logic. So then uh, after after I I thought like why. Uh, do I actually use this camera uh, here? So why don't I? Why? Uh, what stops? What stops me? What actually stops me from uh, making this authentic look? And then I thought, yeah, I just can uh, use this uh, sort of footage from uh, my web camera view. And then in this video in particular, although it really let me just demonstrate, although it looks exactly the same like uh, the current solution, but it's done in two runs in two stages. So have a look at this video. Is less than 10. So you see like reflection is already there, but it's not done the way that I've shown you uh, in the very beginning. So this was just, rec so the camera was recorded here and then I just like make like, these two steps um, editing. So the first time I was uh, rendering this, uh, just a cool retro term with a mask. And then uh, I was like uh, within the, uh, 
within the video editor, I was like maximizing the size uh, of the web camera view. So this tiny little thing, I was making it bigger to fit the entire uh, terminal size. And then I like, just uh, overlay this on top uh, of the cool ret retro term. And then I needed to add mask one more time. So uh, to produce this video, five minute video, it took me around like three hours to render it in like in two runs. So that was kind of too long. And I was start looking for a faster way of doing things. And the next iteration is actually what, what I currently use. Uh, and what I currently use is this exact trick. So it looks exactly the same, just You just see, that. you just see it looks exactly the same. So <laughs> the look is absolutely similar, but the way this has been achieved, like it's like lighting faster as opposed to how I was doing this earlier. So yeah, just take, uh, just take the background, then just make this huge uh, web camera view with a low resolution like this, something like this, and then just uh, put the terminal on and then just make sure you do um, nope settings and 80% uh, uh, I use 80% here you can increase or decrease the reflection obviously yeah so you can do this like so uh, well it doesn't make sense so I like when it's like 80% at first I was using 70, but that's a little bit too bright. So 80, because I don't really want you guys to see the crap of the background I have. But meanwhile, this sort of gives a uh, sort, of, sort of interaction. So it's like everyone is using web camera view, but I thought like I just can make a reflection on the <laughs> imaginary screen. Why not? So yeah, so that's how it works. And then uh, just, yeah, opening the video editor to just uh, again like uh, adding these mask on top of so but that's the uh, that's the domain of the video editing so yeah my channel has covered a whole lot of things <laughs> so yeah fortunately it didn't yet cover the video editing because there are really lots of cool tutorials on video editing ah where is my web camera view okay it's here <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah basically that's it with this sort of setup, uh, I can make a video editing in one run. So I just put this mask uh, on top of the video and I just uh, well, just do, do some edits if I say some, say some garbage or whatever. Uh, and then I just export this and the video is done. So it's much faster. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and yeah, see you in the next tutorials.